Let's talk about security and encryption. Now, um, as you can see, I have a lot of uh, USB drives over here. Uh, some of them ranging from one gigabyte all the way to 32 gigabytes. Uh, they're all pretty decent brands, except you know the freebies you get here and there, like these guys over here, this guy. Uh, these are new ones. Also, I bought it's an eight gigabyte SanDisk. Uh, pretty cool. How small those devices? And this is a six. 16 gig, which is pretty small as well, uh, or SanDisk, uh, but that doesn't really matter because we're discussing security. Now, what's the difference between, let's say, a USB like this versus something like this? Obviously, you can't tell based on looks. Uh, what this USB is is actually it's um, encrypted USB, so uh, it's called Kingston Data Traveler. Uh, Vault Privacy, so DTVP. Um, it's a pretty big device, but it does hold four gigabytes, and it has a little chip somewhere in here. Uh, what it does is it actually encrypts all the information you put in there, and it requires the customer or the person to enter that password that you uh, set up when you got the USB in order to access those files and if you get it wrong too many times it goes ahead and just does a format on the whole drive uh, where uh, something like this is just pretty much a USB drive so you can put in whatever information you want but if you lost this uh, obviously you lost all the information versus if you lose this you also lost all the information but uh, nobody else is going to access what you have in there. See, I do a lot of scripting and programming, and I really have scripts that I don't want anybody else to have. Um, and I carry this USB with me all the time. So just in case if I lose it, uh, I can go ahead and just pretty much not worry about whatever is in here being compromised, including personal information, uh, versus over here everything I lose is gone. So what I do is normally is I actually have a backup so everything in here I back up into another USB just to leave at home. Uh, so in case I lose this I still have a copy over here in my house but I take this with me everywhere so if I lose this again all my information is pretty much safe. Uh, it runs something called 256-bit AES encryption. Uh, I'm not sure what that stands for. Uh, you can google it but anyways we're going to go ahead and plug it into the computer and you'll see uh, you don't need to install any special software for this uh, you just plug it in I'm doing so right now and you'll see autoplay will come up if even if you don't have autoplay enabled you can just close that go to my computer and right there you'll see it double click it it will launch up the little program. You can run this on any computer, you don't have to be an administrator or anything, you just run it and it works. Uh, you'll see it comes up asking with, for the password. Now if you see, let's just say uh, open for the geeks out there, um, you want to delete those and you push the delete key, you can hear me pushing, it's not going to delete those files. Those files come with it and you cannot delete it but those files absolutely mean nothing because there's no information there. So what we're going to do is go ahead and enter our password. And we're going to click login. And you'll see over here, there you go. The drive pops up and these are all my stuff. As you can see I have documents over here, I have some stuff there and my scripting. And um, all those information is pretty much protected. As soon as I pull out my USB drive and I plug it back in, it goes ahead and encrypts it. Actually, as soon as you pull it out, it gets encrypted. Uh, you can see over here, you can change your settings, you can change the password, contact information, um, language, and so on. Uh, password hint, I just put that to mess with whoever gets it because I don't really know Shakespeare's first play. Uh, let's just cancel this and we're gonna go ahead and unplug it. Now you can do two things. Now it's better to click shut down uh, vault DT vault privacy but I'm just gonna pull it out just to show you what it will look like. So pull out the drive and I'm going to put it back in and there you go again you'll see it automatically protected all the information in there so you cannot access it. You, you can't do anything to access that uh, even if you open you're pretty much have to enter that password and 
this is hardware encryption method so the USB is actually using hardware inside the USB that will encrypt everything as you enter it that way your information is safe so let's just enter a random password log in no not good uh, enter it again also no good once you do 10 times it will go ahead and format the drive you can still use the drive again but you, all the information that you had before is suddenly lost so you will not be able to recover it and uh, that's pretty much the difference between something like an encrypted drive versus just a normal USB drive uh, so if you have information that's pretty protective and you don't want people to know about it uh, whether that being phone numbers or just private stuff everybody has their own private documents it's better to get an encrypted drive and that's pretty much it